Citrus trees are one of the most commonly planted fruit trees in Louisiana, and during the fall and winter you'll see them for sale in the garden centers. Now it can always be a little bit tricky on knowing exactly when and where to plant these citrus trees because Louisiana spans multiple climate zones. To help clear up some of this confusion, I'm joined today by horticulture agent Anna Timmerman. Anna has become an expert in citrus, and Anna, can you tell us a little bit of maybe a common rule of thumb? What are the most hardy citrus and what are the least hardy citrus to plant in Louisiana? Yeah, so the most cold hardy or most cold tolerant species are the kumquats and calamondins. I would lump in the satsumas with them as well. There's even some newer cultivars that can go down into the tens and teens. Mm. Um, in the middle, we've got our navels, our sweet oranges, and I would lump the blood oranges with them as well, followed by the grapefruit, which are sort of in that moderate hardiness zone. And then the most sensitive citrus that we grow here in Louisiana are the limes and the lemons. Is there any part of North Louisiana where it just doesn't make sense to plant them in the ground unprotected? Unprotected, I would say no. The okay. exception being the kumquats or the calamondins, mm -hmm. which can be tolerant, especially if you protect them from a young age. However, if you're planting any of the other species, it's a good idea to cover them for their younger years as they're building up tolerance and kind of hardening off. Um, a lot of folks will grow them under greenhouse plastic for part of the year in a high tunnel or greenhouse type situation that's okay. more temporary protection. So it sounds like Growing in containers is also a really good option for North Louisiana. So what about planting dates for the rest of the state? So in areas south of the lake and along the I-10 corridor, more coastal Louisiana, anytime kind of November through March is totally fine as long as you're covering your young trees. If we do get that rare hard freeze, that gives mm -hmm. them plenty of time to establish before the summer months. In the central part of the state, in the northern part of the state, you do want to hold off until your last uh, frost date. So you can keep that nursery pot kind of somewhere safe and warm, put it out on nice sunny days and get it in the ground once the danger of frost has passed. Anna, I really appreciate all that great information because it's just not a simple one size fits all solution. For Get It Growing, I'm Jason Stagg with Anna Timmerman for the LSU Ag Center.